Welcome to Peeling the Onion, a guide to Creative Commons licenses by Alicia Lynham Bowen. This presentation is licensed under a Creative Commons license version 4.0. When you cut an onion in half, you can see that it has many layers. Likewise, Creative Commons' license structure offers many layers to protect copyright while promoting sharing. Let's start at the heart of the onion, or the three core layers included in any Creative Commons license. The first layer is the legal code. This is the layer that gives a Creative Commons license its legal standing and would be what your lawyer could take to court if someone used your work inappropriately. The second layer is what Creative Commons refers to as the Commons deed. These are the user-friendly web pages that you and I reference when we are trying to figure out which CC license is best for us or what a Creative Commons license means on someone else's work. Think of it as the SparkNotes version of the legal code. Finally, the third layer is machine-readable version of the license, which means that search engines and web crawlers can find and identify works that have been licensed under a Creative Commons license. As we continue to peel back the layers of our onion, we find that Creative Commons licenses have four different license elements. The first is attribution. When you see this symbol in a Creative Commons license designation or the letters BY, you know that the author or creator has requested that they be given credit or attribution if you reuse or remix their work. Basically, they've asked to be cited so that their identity remains for their original work. The second is non-commercial or NC. Simply put, the creator has asked that their work not be reused for commercial purposes. While they may be okay with you using their photo in your lecture notes, they may not be okay with you using their photo in a textbook that you are paid to help write for a for-profit textbook company. The third element is Share Alike, or SA. This element requires adaptations to be licensed under the same Creative Commons license or a similar license that the creator used. In other words, if you use another instructor's handout that includes the Share Alike designation, you need to also be willing to share your work under the same kind of license. The final element, and perhaps the most restrictive one, is no derivatives, or ND. This element means that while you can copy, perform, or distribute the work as it currently exists, you cannot adapt, remix, or transform it in any way. Be sure to use items that are marked ND with caution and only in their original forms. These elements combined become the whole onion, or the six different types of Creative Commons licenses. These license options grant creators several options and levels of freedom that they want to allow future users with their work. Attribution is the most free Creative Commons license and only asks that future works give credit to the creator. Attribution no derivatives non-commercial licenses are the most restrictive in that they not only require credit to be given, but also do not allow the work to be adapted or used for any commercial projects. But let's say that you don't want to pick a favorite layer of the onion, and all of these are too restrictive for what you want to see happen to your work. Perhaps you want to grant it to the public domain. While certain countries' copyright do not necessarily allow you to forego the copyright that is inherent to your work from the moment of creation, Creative Commons has created a way for you to designate that you wish for your work to be treated as public domain. CC0 allows creators to dedicate their work to the public domain and indicate that they wish for it to be treated as such. While this may not completely remove their legal copyright, since some countries do not allow you to forfeit your copyright, it allows the creator to indicate that they do wish to waive their rights. Be aware that the public domain mark, also seen here, has no legal bearing. It is merely a mark created by Creative Commons to indicate that a work is known to not have any copyright restrictions. 
If you choose to dedicate your work to the public domain, make sure you select the CCO mark, not the public domain mark. Go forth and create and properly license your work to reflect how you would like people to use it, or in some cases, how you would prefer that they did not. But make sure that you keep a few things in mind. Creative Commons works within existing copyright laws, and it does not replace them. While creators may have given permission for you to use their work, they didn't necessarily give you permission to use things within their work that they had to receive permission for. Again, for example, I could ask a photographer if I could include their photo in my PowerPoint, which I then make available online under a Creative Commons BYSA license. My license only covers my original content. A photographer may have let me borrow their work with permission, but they did not grant you, or indeed the entire internet, permission to treat their work like the public domain. Copyright is continually present, and it may be different in different countries and territories. Thanks for tuning in to this brief introduction to Creative Commons licenses. Like an onion, they do have many layers, but hopefully with the help of your friendly neighborhood librarian, they won't make you cry.